How to create greeting cards in Canva. Canva tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create foldable greeting cards in Canva and how you can design your own greeting card from scratch. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log on to your Canva account. So I have done that with my email address. You will have to sign up as well. You can use your Gmail or any other email address that you have. After you have signed up, this is going to be your homepage. So on your homepage, page what you're going to do is you're going to click on custom size over here and you're going to change this from pixels into inches make sure you do that and you're going to add the width of 10 inches and the height of 7 inches so the reason that i'm adding uh, a 10 inch width is because we are going to create a folded card so you can see in the suggested i have a folded card uh, template available so you can just click on that uh, to create it as well or you can just go with a simple 10 by 7 design now the good part about this is that you can create folded cards which are you know a lot more exquisite than just creating simple cards so once you click on your folded card portrait kind of template this will open up so this is your canvas and on your canvas you actually see this tin line now this tin line is actually going to donate to you what is the front page and what is the back page so on the right side what you have is going to be the front of your card on the left side what you have is going to be the back of your card so once you have done that, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the canvas and I like to, you know, add a little bit of color to my canvas first off. I'm going to make it pink. So I'm going to open up the color grid and I'm just going to make it a shade of light pink. The reason I like to do that is not only it simplifies me with the design process, but when I'm working on the canvas and it's white, it can be a bit difficult to come up with ideas and, you know, actually decorate it and fill out spaces. While when it's usually colored, it's a lot easier for me to design the actual card. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to click on the element section. So you can see in the templates, I do have a few templates, but I want to create my own card from scratch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna go on to the element section and I want to make a greeting card for uh, maybe just welcoming people to the new year or something along those lines. So first off, I'm gonna search for stars because I want this to be star themed. So I'm gonna search for stars and you can see that there are different images you can pick out as well or you can pick up graphics as well and this image is actually pretty cute so I'm just gonna click on this image and I'm going to place it right above my entire greeting card so I'm just gonna use this image as like a background for the entire card so I'm just going to expand it until it fits my canvas so I'm just going to place it like so then I'm gonna make sure it fits the entire thing and just like that I have placed it so if I want to change up the colors I can just move the image out a bit but I think this looks pretty good and I'm going to lock it in place so locking it in place basically means that now when I'm you know selecting things on top and you know editing the design and doing all that the image behind it won't move so that is why I like to lock things in place so once I have done that I'm going to start the design I'm going to start the design process and I was thinking that maybe I could you know add a cluster of stars and add the text in between but i don't think it looks good what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to search for paint uh, gradient and once after i have searched for the paint gradient i'm going to go on to the graphic sections because i want this to be like a simple little box so this is actually pretty good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change up the color i'm going to pick this out in blue and I'm just going to reduce the size of this box like so. And I'm going to just go like this so there's like enough light and dark blue. The balance is there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this right over here. I'm going to expand it because I want this to be pretty much a square. So I'm going to make this like a square. And I'm going to place it right on the center. So you see this purple uh, horizontal line. This is going to denote to me that when the item is centered. And currently this is centered. So once I have centered this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the text section. And I'm going to pick one of the font combinations. You can pick simple text as well. But I like to use the font combinations because they're pretty nice. And they make your overall item very margin looking. So that is why I'm just going to go with this font combination. And once I have added the font combination, I'm just going to add this and I'm going to write greetings for the new year or whatever kind of greeting card you are making for the new year. 
and I'm just going to expand it like this and I'm going to do this so once I have added the text I'm going to add it right onto the center of the box that I created and I'm just going to click on these three dots you can you know customize the text you can go into the animate section and you can animate this if you want to you know send this digitally to someone but I am going to just click on over here and I'm just going to make sure that the text is all of it is centered I'm going to select all of the text and I'm going to make sure that it is centered like so and I'm going to click on effects over here so I'm just going to take the text and I'm going to click on effects and you can add different effects on your card as well so I can click on curve over here and then once I click on curve what I can do is I can reduce the amount of curvature it has as well and I can make it turn upwards or downwards and this is also another great trick to use when you're creating greeting cards on Canva so for this kind of card I would usually not add a box I would just place it right on over here and you know this is you know a very cute little uh, item at the front of our card so once you have added your design you can add some more design elements as well so you can go back into your element section we can search for flowers we can search for patterns so we can search for pattern and i'm just going to search for a pattern over here and once i search for a pattern you can you know place this on the borders so if i go for these kind of bubbles I can just use these and what I would do is I would rotate these like this and then I would just place these on the edges of the card and you can put control C and control V and then you can place this on the bottom front as well and you can place them on all four corners I like to just place them on two diagonal ones and once I have done that what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your download so once all of your designing is complete for your card what you're going to do is you're just gonna click on download over here and you can download it in whatever kind of form but you're gonna download it as a PDF print if you want to you know create a folded card like I told you guys so once you click on pdf print you're going to select this so this is crop marks and bleed so what this basically does is create the fold within your card so you can actually fold it and this is going to help you you know make a actual card you know make something that actually looks like a physical card so you're going to click on download over here and this will start downloading and once this is downloaded now if we click on this pdf over here that we just downloaded you can see this is you know the basic look of our card and obviously you can customize it furthermore now these lines you see over here these are the bleeds and if you want you can account for those in your design but you really don't need to in canva but if you want you can you know expand your design onto the edges as well just to make sure that you're getting you know the most out of your pdf or the most out of your greeting card so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own greeting card using canva your own foldable greeting card using canva make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video